witch lit's room my living room today um on my coffee table so things are a little shaky and i have a completely new to me tripod so we'll see how everything goes so um today i'm going to show you using uh, pipe cleaners how to make a Brigid's Cross. This was my first attempt at a Brigid's Cross and I don't like how it turned out, but uh, we're gonna try it again with you guys. So what you're gonna need for this um, is actually, you can use pipe cleaner, um, especially if you're working with kids in making a Brigid's Cross, but um, you're gonna need nine pieces of straw or pipe cleaner or whatever of equal lengths between three to 15 inches long and then um, thread, string, wire, or rubber bands to tie off the arms of the cross. I just used one of the pieces of the pipe cleaner. And then um, if you're using straw or something like that, like a, a natural thing that you have on hand that's dried, um, you're going to need a dish of water big enough to hold that and you're gonna soak it for 24 hours before you do this project. So, um, first thing you're gonna do, make sure everything is of equal length, cut it to fit as necessary, um, et cetera, et cetera. So what you're gonna do, I've got nine pieces here. I've got four different colors. So I'm gonna use my green piece as my center. So you hold this piece straight up and down like this, and then you're gonna take one of your other pieces and you're going to wrap it around the center and make sure that it is even. Oops. Because you want the arms to be relatively equal in size. So there we go. So you're going to fold that over just like that. Okay. So that's your first piece. You're going to rotate this entire thing one quarter turn counterclockwise. Okay. Oops. Then you're going to take your next piece and you are always gonna go to the right. So you're going to put it on your doohickey, just like that, and pull that so that it is going to the right. Quarter turn. And uh, you take your next piece and do the same thing. You're gonna have it go to the right. Like so. Quarter turn. And then you're gonna take your next piece and wrap it again. Ooh, I can do it. I believe in me. Just like that. And we still have some more pieces to do. So you're going to do a quarter turn and keep going until you've used all of your um, all of your straw for this. There should be nine pieces. So I'm gonna go in reverse color here. So I'm gonna start with my yellow. And do that. Quarter turn. And we'll go with the orange here. No, we won't. We're going to go with red here. Just kidding. Go with the red. Like that. Quarter turn. Oh, 
I'll be back in a moment. Okay, sorry about that little interruption. My food order got here. Woohoo! So, sushi tonight. So, um, where was I? Oh, yes. So, you're going to take your eighth piece and wrap it like that. Do a another quarter turn like that and take your last piece and wrap it this direction. Like that. Now I'm doing it fairly loosely this time through. The first time I wrapped it kind of tightly and it didn't, uh, it didn't look right. So you can kind of see the pattern that's forming here in the center. That's kind of what you're going for. So at this point, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna tie off your arms here. So like I said, I just use a little bit of the um, pipe cleaner that's left and just kinda do that with it. Um, and you wanna do this on each of the arms of your cross. And once it's done, the cross will be ready for you to imbue, bless, whatever you'd like to do, and um, hang it for your decorations for in bulk. Um, I am amassing a collection of in bulk um, decorations, so and I don't even celebrate in bulk. So, uh, but they're fun and they're cute. My corn dollies, I lit one of my corn dollies on fire by accident. Um, so it has a very burned hand, but that's okay. So, and there is your Brigitte's cross. Now yours will probably look better if you use a uh, straw or um, another dried fiber um, that isn't pipe cleaner, <laughs> but um, desperate times. Um, but that is how you make a Brigitte's cross. Like I said, you can bless this to use, um, to hang above your door for protection, to have on your altar for protection, however you'd like to do it. That is up to you. There is no one way to practice your faith. So I hope you enjoyed the video, even with the minor interruption. And I hope that you have a blessed in bulk. Um, I will have a ritual um, instead of food on Tuesday, I think it's next week. Um, in fact, I know it's next week because February 1st is Monday. So um, I will have a ritual posted for you early, theoretically, um, so that you can start it at 6 p.m. Monday if you so desire. Um, a lot of in bulk rituals do begin in the evening and go throughout the night. Um, but if you're more like me, it's just like, Nah, I'll just do it Tuesday. So um, the ritual will work for either day, both days, however you want to do it. So that will be posted Monday and then Thursday we'll do a, a food video because, you know, food, which I'm going to go eat right now, sushi. So thank you guys for watching. Um, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash KWOS. There's usually always a blog post to go with these videos to make sure that you understand everything that's going on. And of course, Midnight is playing with one of his crinkly toys because I'm filming and running into everything. Every time without fail. Anyway, patreon.com slash kwos. If you uh, support me at the $5 level or above, you will have access not only to, well, you get access to Discord at the $1 level too, but you will have access to Discord and you will have access to some Patreon exclusive content um, that I try to put out every month for my patrons. Um, you can check out my blog at kwos-food.com. Um, it has the same the same basic content as the Patreon. Um, however, uh, there's also a shop there and you can buy things from the shop. 
that I still have to update because I'm getting some stuff in for Ostara to make the Ostara incenses and things. So, um, and the bath salts and all of that. I've been sick and then I got really super busy. So <laughs> we'll see how everything goes. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Um, make sure that you've uh, liked and subscribed and all of that stuff. Ring the notification bell and we'll see you next time.